on hold there for these athletes, but Pearson gets really, really well and leads at the moment. Also going well beside her is Christina Manning with the gold headband. But Pearson leading at the moment, trying to come back at her is Nelvis. Pearson battling away against Nelvis. Is she going to get there? I don't know if she does. She might have got it there with that Cotland Jackson style dip. The torso going almost horizontal. She might have stolen half an inch from Sharika Nelvis there. It was a fabulous run from the American. Remember, only fifth in those US championships, Sharika Nelvis. That is the caliber of US uh, sprint hurdling. But has Sally Pearson taken it? We're waiting for the results to come up. She has 12.55 for Pearson. Surely the margin of victory is going to be absolutely minuscule. That is the moment where you realize your Diamond League champion of 2017, your 50,000 bucks US better off is Sally Pearson. And it rounds off this astonishing summer. What a comeback has been for the Australian in the best possible style. Yeah, it just gets better and better. Look at this point in the race here where Nelvis came alongside her and then you just thought, yeah, she might lose this, but then she digs deep again, Pearson, keeps that technique together, comes off the last barrier just with a few inches to spare, holds it. And what I'm loving about Sally is just this enthusiasm at the moment, you know, for somebody who maybe thought the best years of her career were behind her, still competing after having come back from the, the serious injury at a good level, but then all of a sudden rediscovers the spark which made her the world and Olympic champion before, and now it's back, and she's, she's almost like a youngster embarking on the early part of her career. Well, Steve, the result came up as Pearson winning at 12.55. Then it disappeared. I thought they were having a rethink. It's just reappeared. Nelvis is getting 12.55 as well. 12 Nelvis, if anything, possibly guilty there of not dipping at the line as well as Pearson. She gave 101% to the Australian. Don't let's forget, she raced in Birmingham on Sunday in a 100 metres, didn't get out of her heat. She didn't look great running, what, 11.38 in Birmingham, but maybe that little bit of a speed reminder paid a benefit there.